Keep watching Charis TV. Dirty spirit, leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. You dim. Leave him. Hurry. Leave him. Le leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him. Leave him, you demon. Come here, you. Come on, follow me like this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you demon. Come on. My God, my God, oh. Leave this young man. Look here. Do you know what is happening to you? No. You don't know? Yes. Huh? Yes. Where is your knife? Your knife. What is it? Huh? I don't have a knife. What happened to the one you had? Were you not moving around with a knife? Huh? What happened to it? Did you throw it away? Yes. Huh? Yes. You throw it away. Jesus loves you. You hear me? Amen. Please. Jesus loves you. Can I tell you again? Amen. Jesus loves you. You know, despite the challenges you are seeing at home there, sometimes with no food, don't make another means. Don't make what? Another, another means. means to have life. No. Well, when there's nothing at home, you kneel down, you pray. You hear me, Amen. my boy? You kneel down, or else you're going to die before time. When there's no food at home, you do what? I kneel down, I pray. And you kneel down, you pray. From there, God will provide you. But if you want to live a life where you're putting a knife here, you're creating enemies everywhere, you're going to have a problem. I want to tell you again, Jesus loves you. Can I tell you again? Amen. Jesus loves you. Poverty is not there forever. You hear me? Amen. Those who believe in Jesus, one day God will bless you. Take Jesus. He will bless you. You hear me? Amen. Take Jesus. He will bless you. Jesus. Because 
What he has is the spirit. He does not understand that. Many people that are in jail, they don't know how they got there. If you go there, you ask them, how did you come here? They say, I don't even understand. It's a spirit. You're free, my boy, you're free. God bless you. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charles Missionary Church. This is our Sunday life service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Makanenisa. And with me here today is my brother who was located during the service by Prophet Andrew Simon, who ministered upon his life. Sir, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? So, Prophet Andre spoke to you. What did he say to you? He said, I must take Jesus and I must love Jesus. Jesus loved me. And what changes are you going to implement in your life moving forward? To come to church and always make good things. And what can you say to a young person who's watching this and they are in the wrong groups? Please live that life. It's not a good life. Take Jesus. Jesus is there. And Jesus is living. She's going to help you. I will worship you until the very end. Jesus. Lover of my soul. Yes. You know, you are tired. The church is not moving. It's not moving at all. Huh? It's not moving at all. Because you're also failing to find a proper place. Yes. Can you believe Jesus? Yes, I believe. Huh? Yes. If I pray for you, will you believe? Yes, I will believe. Huh? I will believe. Because if you leave somewhere, to where are you going? You know, I don't know you. I don't know you. And I'm hearing God say, where you are, you want to leave. Yes. So the question is that if you leave, where are you going? I'm not yet sure. Can you see that? Yes. The, if you leave, more confusion will come to you. Yes. You see that? You'll yes. be more confused. You'll find yes. now the ministry is failing to have its grounds. It yes. cannot have grounds. So now, let me pray for you. Let's see what Amen. Jesus will do after this. Amen. You know, if a stranger like me can come to you and say, you want to move, it means Jesus knows you. And yes. you have to do what God is telling you. Amen. So please, yes. let's wait now. Amen. Let's pray until water comes out. Yes. In a dry place. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, you know why, you know why many young ministers, they cannot make it? Can I tell you why? They're impatient. We are, they're not patient. They want things to work fast, 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 fast. No. Pray until water comes out in a desert. You hear me? We, as a man who believes God, we must leave you in the desert. When we come back, we must leave you thirsty. When we come back, we must find you with a bottle of water. I'm telling you, if you believe God, we must leave you on an empty land, a desert, where there's no water. But when we return, we must find you with water. You know, many people that have made it in the ministry, do you think it was easy? It was tough. They stayed in that desert until something comes out. Stay in that desert until something comes out. If God can tell Moses, Moses, hit this rock, water will come out. It's still the same God. I say, it's still the same God. If you believe God the way I believe God, many of you can make it. Amen. Because me, I believe God that you can leave me in a desert with nothing. But when you come back, I'll be fine. The way I trust God. We are, we are afraid of challenges. Don't be afraid of challenges. You're afraid, so you're afraid. Where's your child? Sorry. Where's your child? 
My child, I don't have... Are you sure? What makes you so sure? Because mm, I don't have one. I was married, but we separated without a child. Do we, I need to pray for you. Do you hear me? Yes. Who is the lady? Uh, in Midrand. She lost a child? I was suspecting, yeah. but I don't know. She, didn't she tell you about bleeding? That she was not fine? Many a times. Yes. So now you, we need to set you free. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. Yeah, because where you were, you were in a wrong place. Mm. You were in a wrong place. Allow Jesus to set you free. Amen. And you find another partner. That's what my parents told me. Your parents have told you that. Yeah. Give glory to Jesus. <laughs> you know, because you, you cannot marry someone that will overpower you in the spirit of spirit of their own world. So now God has set you free. Amen. Release yourself from that. Amen. And because why pregnancy quick quick it looks like something was there, something disappeared. It used to happen very fast. That's true. And they were confusing you. That's true. So now the question is that what was exactly happening there? You hear me? It's true. Next thing you can see, oh man, this person is like he's pregnant. Next thing, boom. There's nothing. What's going on? So now, thank God you are, you are free. Amen. In Jesus' name. You're free, sir. You're free. Sir, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Hmm? I am Hawa Loremezi, all the way from Limpopo in Mokopane. So today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and he ministered upon your life. Kindly please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Yes, um, what Prophet um, Andres Simono prophesied about is something that I was suspecting in my marriage, but um, I did not know what to do or where to go or who to ask. But whatever that he said, it's, it's something that has been happening has been going on and i thank god that today through his prophet he revealed it to me okay he said something um about an issue of a child of which i was married for for five years um there were times whereby um the the lady that i was married to um was 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 um taking uh, the contraceptives but after that she stopped and um, all of a sudden they, they, they were those bleedings you know and and I did not understand it did not make sense to me but um, I just knew that something was happening but it was beyond my understanding and what he also said uh, he said I was in the wrong place of which is something that my parents also told me that I was in the wrong place meaning I had married wrong. Mm. And how do you feel that today Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life? I feel so relieved. I, I have been questioning God so many times each and every night when I was going to bed. I, I had insomnia. But I thank God that after today my liberty has come and I am free indeed. Amen. Amen. And how would you encourage somebody who is watching this? Um, there is hope in Christ. They must not give up. They must come to Christ, they must come to Charis. It is a living church. Amen. Lift her. Hey. Kicking me. Come on! Out, you demon! Sister, God must deliver you. You hear me? God must deliver you. Come on. God must deliver you. Otherwise, you're going to have depression very soon. You hear me? God must deliver you. Bring that lady also. Bring her here. You know, because I see people talking about you 
And if we're not careful, these people can end up, you know, using their charms to, to kill you. Uh, concerning money, I just see them mentioning your name, mentioning your name, because this issue of taking money from different people, it will bring you problems. You hear me? Yes, perfect. God must deliver you. Now, Amen. there's depth everywhere. Yes, perfect. And I see these people, they're talking about you, these people. Yes. I mean, this is not good. Come on. Out. Huh? Huh? So uh, you want these people to kill this lady? Yeah, huh? You are the one doing this. Yes. Can you hear that? Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Ntabiseng Machaba from Clayville. Prophet Andres located you and he spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, the prophet was saying that uh, I'm about to get depression, um, mainly because of the deaths that I'm having. Um, yeah, it's true. It's very true what the prophet said because, yeah, I, I ended up taking money from people because of the situation that I'm having currently with finances. And how is this affecting you? <sighs> I must say it, it is affecting my mental health because yeah, I'm thinking about it a lot as he said that um, it might lead to depression. Yeah, so it's giving me a stress, I must say. And how do you feel that Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life regarding this issue? I'm very happy. It means God is aware of our situation and our problems and I believe God will help me. Better job this one. There's a child like an orphan. Huh? Yes, man of God. There's a girl, and I see even the, there's a boy also. Yes, man of God. They're like orphans, and they are coming very close to you. Okay, yes, man of God. You hear me? Yes, man of God. Mm, I see it's like you want to take care of these people here. Yes. You know, I see a girl that was also very close. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man of God. Uh, there was no parents. And I see also a, there's a boy who doesn't have parents. Uh, and God will give you this responsibility to grow your church. Amen. You know, because why I'm seeing these children here without parents, they are coming to you. Yes, man of God. Huh? Yes, man there's of God. This boy, a bit tall, also is coming to you, very close to you. Yes, man of God. Huh? It's true, man of God. But I see a boy uh, that this boy no parents at all. Yes, it's true, man of God. You hear me? Yes. This boy is an orphan. But I see a girl also uh, that is like an orphan. Yeah, it's true. Huh? It's true, man of God. These two children, take care of them. Amen. Amen. You hear me? Yes, man if of God. If you take care of these children, because I see a boy like this, very thin. Yeah. Huh? Yes, man of God. Very thin boy, a bit tall. Yes. No parents, nothing. Nothing, yeah. nothing, nothing. You know, to me, he looks like a stranded young man. Yes. He only wants God now. Yes, man. Take God. care of this boy and this girl. Yes, man. Of God course. will bless you. Amen. Amen. God will bless you. Amen. You see, God will bless you. Amen. Sir? Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay. My name is Pastor Mutiti. I'm coming from Free State. Today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and he spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. 
prophet o bile ka 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 ngwana mushumane aba bua le hapile ka ngwana ngwanana o bile ka gona nna le mushumane a close to le nas number tswadi le ngwanana ya as number tswadi aba go kopa gona neng ke nke bikabelo o dima bona so a ba close to le nna ke nnete e mong o close to le nna e bile o metric now e mong a se khale o salte le nna o dula o dula tla montlong e bile o sebetsa le le mamruti mo business e e mamruti a yetsa so try when ke nnete a yetsa hala because already you know wa ngwana na ke nka bi ka ka belo yena le wa mushumane ke nka bi ka ka belo ntshe pitse thago ye so we will let aba gana nna nko pa ke nke o ka belo bona modimo tlo go disa tshebeletso bile modimo tlo mples amen and how do you feel that prefect is located to minister upon your life and even guide you on what to do no ke le ba modimo a holo ke nthwe e leng ka go pelwa ka nthwa bo ya ya taba ya di khusana le batho ba sokola so nthwa e bueng ke nne because ka go pelwa ga ene ke na le sello so gona ene ke batla o bona ke thusi na wa wa metric because o metric ba ke nsa mo patala nthotse ne tseitse so ke nthwe ka go pelwa ke le ba modimo a holo thule ka confirmation ya taba ya go modimo tlo mbless because ke thapela pelo ya ka amen This lady building some things where she stayed. You, you. I see you building something. Uh, it's like God will give you the grace. You want to build rooms. Sorry. God will give you the grace. I see you building some rooms. Yes, yes. Huh? Yes, it's mm. true. It's true, man of God. Mm. It's you. going to happen very soon. Thank you. Because I see a property. And in this property, I'm seeing a land here it's that true. you want to use. Yes, it's huh? true. It's true. And God will give you money. You, you build those those Thank rooms. You. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? I'm coming from Kempton Park. Your name? Salfina Mutlele. Prophet Andres located you and spoke to you. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. I confirm the prophecy to be true because I just bought the property in Kempton Park. I was staying here in Allendale. So he stayed, uh, he, he saw the, the grace of God locating me for the land that, the house that is in Allendale to, to build a room. It's true. That was in my plan. So he confirmed that it's going to be, it's, it's going to come to pass. Yes. And how do you feel that Prefrant Andres located you and ministered upon your life regarding something that you've been desiring? I was so happy because I was just thinking where am I going to get the money to do that? So he said, God, you're going to give me the grace of building the rooms. Yes.